Hi there. We have a very special segment today. We have Haley with Roos and More Zoo here downtown. Um, she's down here for a very special reason with a very special guest. Haley, welcome to the Downtown Podcast. Thank you. Why don't you tell us why you're downtown right now? Um, we came down to do an event at Zappos with the zoo animals. We brought about 100 animals to support the Nevada Childhood Cancer Foundation along with Britney Spears to send the profits all to them. And what is the name of your uh, little buddy here? This is Tobago. He's a spider monkey, just over a year old little boy. He's a little antsy, kind of tired. <laughs> yeah, you guys had a long day. How many animals do you guys have at the zoo, which is actually just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada here, correct? Yeah, the zoo's in Moapa, Nevada, which is like 45 minutes uh, towards Utah. And we have a little over 200 different animals. And how many did you bring down to Zappos today? We brought about 100, kind of ranging. So brought some like camels, zebras, kangaroos, porcupines, a bunch of crazy animals. And people were able to interact with them, correct? Yes, we did interactions with some of the animals that were safe. They got to feed carrots and treats and get to meet all of them. So speaking of interaction, our host, Dylan, has this big thing about social grooming and how it helps connect people and helps you m be more successful overall. Uh, what do you think about that, watching all the animals and the monkeys in particular uh, interact with each other? What do you think about social grooming? Well, like in our house, we have a bunch of animals that like live together that shouldn't, so like certain species that you think wouldn't get along, but they all grew up together and they love each other, so the monkeys will groom each other and they all get along and it kind of like is comforting to them. So should I social groom you <laughs> to make you feel more comfortable here? <laughs> no. Not, does it work with you? <laughs> mm, society's changed that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well, people want to come visit you out at your zoo. Can they? And um, how do they get there? And where do they find you on social media? Um, we do have a Facebook and a Twitter, but the main way is to go through our website, which is rusenmore.org, and you can just schedule a tour to come out and visit and you schedule a private tour with your family, which is a two-hour tour for $250 for up to 25 people to interact with all the animals at the zoo. Sounds like fun. And where does the money go for, um, you guys are a nonprofit. Yeah, we are a nonprofit, so it all goes kind of back into building the zoo, making it bigger, feeding animals, and all that kind of stuff. All right, well, thank you for coming on. I know it was really last minute, and we drug you over here, and um, we're gonna come visit you guys sometime soon and check out all of the animals. Sounds great, thank you. Thank you.